what is good youtube crypto chemist back again with another video for you guys and today we are looking at a special project in the cryptocurrency market and they are doing big big things with and their model comes from little drops of bitcoin make a mighty investment for you guys and this is bit droplet the systematic purchase plan which is a sip in bitcoin which allows you to invest as little as $30 per day preserve your wealth in a long term with bit droplet and you can start an investment right here all the buttons that are here are going to be in the description below so you will be able to access all this information really quickly and find out more about it if you do want to jump in this platform now here's a little <clears throat> chart actually showcasing one of the investments that was made into the platform by Komal and they invested 400 I believe this is rupees actually uh, every week in Bitcoin for two years and she got 80,925 rupees out of it so you guys can just look at the investment that was initially put up in the span of two years um, you know more than a thousand percent in game so huge huge things that uh that happened over there and 40 percent rise in bitcoin too over the two years so so not only they got a 39 percent 39.7 percent raise in btc and that investment but if that was put into something like mutual funds or fixed deposits or bank deposits so on and so forth all these different things you would have seen a three percent gain on that you would have seen a seven percent gain on that a 12% gain on that at most on a mutual fund so not a lot of gains to be made in these different fields unless you do have some risky investments and again like I said Bitcoin could be a risky investment we've seen the volatility we've seen the price go up and down so so drastically over the past year two years so again at the end of the day cryptos are going to be a risky investment so make sure you invest what you can afford to lose but you don't have to buy an entire Bitcoin when it comes to these guys. You can start small by investing as, 30, as little as either $30 or 30 rupees a day and buy fractional amounts of Bitcoin and accumulate it gradually. So it's kind of like gold or it's kind of like something that you just want to pick up little bits, little bits, little by little and just let it stack there. And then don't even think about it, you know, take a take a little chunk of the paycheck take a little chunk of the money that's left over and put it aside put it into btc um not just btc different projects ltc whatever whatever you guys want to want to put it in but take a little bit and put it aside and throw it throw it at one of these things projects so on and so forth again i'm not a financial advisor but this is something that i would do would take a piece of of whatever i got and put it aside and don't even look at it um, don't even watch it. Don't be in there just refreshing your page trying to see what's gonna happen with it No, don't do that and just let it sit there add to it over time and just watch that investment grow Now, how does the SPP work? So you set this SPP amount that you want to invest weekly or monthly in Bitcoin You deposit the USDT in your wallet Using the peer-to-peer -peer wallet transfer and it's actually used for your periodic investments now once your wallet is close to empty you deposit usdt to continue the spp and you redeem your investment to get the usdt which can turn uh sold to get rupees so again depending on your region and when you're where you're living you can turn these different investments into dollars rupees pounds euros whatever you're going to be using now the mutual funds versus the bit droplet breakdown they've got a little uh graphic here that showcases the difference the pros and cons between using the bit droplet spp this sip basically in bitcoin versus the mutual funds the, the traditional form of investments that we see a lot of people uh utilize nowadays i mean it could be the safe bet it could be the safe play um or it's just in the hands of the banks it's not decentralized it's in the hands of the banks the banks are controlling your money uh, again pulling it out putting it back in so on and so forth has its different uh rules and policies behind it but the bit droplet system very easy to figure out looking at some of the pros and cons investing charges so there's always going to be investing charges when it comes to a platform when it comes to mutual funds when it comes to any sort of investment that you try to go for there's going to be fees there's going to be charges there's going to be expenses in the middle and with mutual funds you're looking at a one to two percent expense ratio in mutual funds which is basically applied forever periodically reducing the rate of return that you're going to be seeing 
Now the charges persist even if you do not redeem and just hold the mutual fund for as long as you want versus the bid drop that SPP which a mere 0.25% trade fee. A quarter of a percent trade fee is applied only at the time of each purchase and redemption. Now no charges are actually uh, levied for just holding the investment only when there's going to be a transaction going down. Now redemption charges are obviously huge when it comes to mutual funds and an additional 1% exit load may apply for redemptions within a year of investing. Now this can actually defer when it comes to different banks, when it comes to different mutual funds and investment uh, platforms, but usually there's about a 1% exit load within the first year. Now you got a zero additional charge for redemptions on the bit droplet platform. So that's already huge gains right there. And then there's risks which is subject to market risk when it comes to mutual funds, but a lower risk compared to BTC. Of course, they do mention that. So the transparency is there. And, you know, with platforms that come out right now in cryptocurrency, you always have to be seeking the truth and you always have to be seeking something past what they're just trying to tell you. But these guys are going out there and putting it all right out there. BTC is more risky um, than, you know, some of the some of the products that we see the banks are offering. BTC's got a higher risk than mutual funds. It's facts. I mean, there's nothing to hide there, and they're not hiding behind no uh, bells and whistles and saying this and that. They're putting it out there, it's more risky. The yields are higher in rewards in the long term. Of course, we've seen percentages of raise up to a thousand percent when it comes to Bitcoin, you know, but we don't see that stuff with the traditional type of investments. So the investment. Uh, into BTC, you can invest in the right amount as per your risk tolerance and see some serious gains and some serious returns over the long term. The returns that they're showcasing over here for mutual funds has been 8% for weekly investments in Nifty 50 for the last three years as of May 2019. They've got some solid stats. They've got some very, very solid stats that they've actually um, done some research for, done some surveys for. And then you got 65% raise for weekly investment in Bitcoin for the last three years as of May 2019. So look at the two differences between those two numbers. Of course, this can always change. This is not going to be like this forever. Uh, who knows? Bitcoin might just stabilize at a certain number and just sit there for a little while. But so far, so good. Now, the legality is what's important to keep in mind because in 20, 2018, the RBI released a circular that said the banks cannot be involved with crypto exchanges and this does not say that bitcoin is banned guys only that crypto businesses are restricted from using the banks to find out more about this stuff um they got the economic times they got bitcoin.com and a whole bunch of different articles that you guys can actually read before investing in any platform and you can see their social media outlets right here at the bottom of the page as you guys can see telegram account i think they've got a pretty big community over 1500 people and 133 online so very active community a lot of people online a lot of people getting involved twitter account all the updates will be here they've got a valentine's day surprise so you guys better stay tuned for that and check out their twitter follow their twitter they've got an instagram facebook medium of course and like i said all the links will be in the description below other than that very nice looking platform guys uh you can check out your dashboard as well um beautiful beautiful way they've put together the platform you gotta log in for this uh for this feature to be able to access that and bitcoin is actually legal in india so if you guys did not know that and you guys are looking for a platform that's based out of india bitcoin is legal there and um there's more information on that as well if you would like to check that out anyways guys i really hope you enjoy this platform and, and you enjoy this video if you did hit the thumbs up button share with your friends and i'll talk to you guys on the next video i'm off for now